Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Android application development tutorial with Android Studio. In this episode, we are going to learn about how to working with a list to view with a custom adapter. In the previous episode of this tutorial series, we already learned about how to working with a list to view with some custom background. But here in this episode, we are going to learn about how, how to customize the adapter used for creating the list to view. Suppose we have to create a list to view similar to this one. This is a complex list to view that contain each row contain four view component. First of all, first one is an image view that displays some movie movie poster. Second is a text view which displays the movie title and third one is another text view which displays the rating of the movie. Also you can see there are some horizontal lines available in each row. So if you want to create a layout similar to this one, you have to use your own layout as well as you have to customize the adapter. Okay, so in this episode, I am going to create a list view similar to this one. And here I am going to make this application in two episodes. On the first episode, we are going to create, we are going to complete the user interface of the application as well as we set up the needed resources and in the second episode we are going to complete the coding of the application so in the first episode we are going to finish the GUI and we uh, we set up the needed resources for creating a list view similar to this one okay so the needed resources are we need some images movie movie pictures also we need some movie titles also we need some movie ratings so here i have some movie images are available here so start a new project in android studio the first thing we have to add these images into android studio into our project so here i am going to copy all these movie images Now go to Android Studio and here I am going to paste the copied images into the drawable folder. Select paste option and here I place these images in the drawable MTPA folder. Click OK. Select OK. OK now we have the movie movie pictures, movie posters available on the drawable folder. Now we have to add some movie titles. Also we have to add some movie ratings so here I am going to add the movie titles and movie ratings into the string stored XML file as a string array so open the string stored XML file and here I am going to create a new string array it's a string array with the name movie titles Okay, now we have to add some movie titles into this string array using item attribute. Okay, now here I add some movie titles using the item attribute. Now we have to add the movie ratings. So start another string array with the name movie ratings. Here also you have to add some movie ratings using item attribute. So use the item attribute. Okay, now here I add some movie ratings. Here I add some 10 movie ratings using item attribute. So now we have the movie images on the drawable folder and we have two string array. First one is first one represents the movie titles and second one represents some movie ratings. Okay. Now we have to set up now we have to create a list view on the activity main.xml file so here we have a title for the list view this is top 10 movies so the first one first thing we have to change the title of the application so go to the activity main.xml file here the title now is advanced the list view this is the project name we have to change this one into top 10 movies so go to the manifest folder and open up the android manifest.xml file and find out the activity here is the activity and here is the label of the activity so we have to change this one this 
tag app name in the string stored XML file. So go to string stored XML file and find out the label with app name. Yeah, this one app name. So we have to change this one into top 10 movies. I change that one into top 10 movies. Okay. Now go to activity main.xml file. So now we change the title of the activity into top 10 movies. Now see, now we have to add a list view into the activity main.xml file for representing this list view. So now go to the XML version of the layout here. A text view is already available. I remove that one. And here I'm going to add a new list view. Specify the width as match parent and height as wrap content. Also, we need an ID for this list view. So, specify an ID using ID attribute plus ID. I name it as a list view. Okay, now we have a list view available on the activity main.xml file. Now we have to change the background color into black. So here the entire list view is available with a background black color. So we have to change the background color into a dark one. So go to the relative layout here. There is no need of padding. There is no need of margin. So I remove all the padding attributes. Okay. Now here I am going to change the background color of the layout. So using Android background attribute and specify a black color. Okay. Now I changed. Now we have a list view available on the activity main.xml file. Also the background color is now changed into a black one. Now for creating a list view similar to this one, you have to create your own layout. Also you have to customize the adapter. So the next step we have to create a new layout for representing each row in this list view. So each row contain an image view and two text view. Also we have to add a horizontal line in each row. So we have to create a new layout for representing each row in this list view. So go to the layout folder, right click the layout folder and create a new layout resource file. And here I name it as raw layout. Okay, here now the root element is linear layout. So for creating a layout similar to this one, the relative layout is the better choice. So now I am going to change the root element into relative layout. Okay. And click OK. Now we have the new layout. Now we have to add the view components. First we have to add an image view that contain the movie movie image and second we have to add a text view which represent the movie name also final one is also a text view that representing the movie ratings so go to the xml version of the layout so here i am going to add an image view specify the width as 100 dp and specify the height as 75 dp okay also, we have to align the image view at the left side of the parent. Here the parent is the relative layout. So we have to align the, this image view at the left side of the parent. So Android align parent left into true. Okay. Also, we have to add an ID for this image view. So Android ID equal to plus ID. And I name it as movie poster. Okay. Also for testing this image view, here I am going to add an image into this image view using SLC attribute. I specify, I select one image from the drawable folder. I select one image from the drawable folder. 
Now we look at the design. Now we have an image view that contain a movie poster available. So it is located at the left corner of the parent, at left side of the parent. Okay. Now we have to add a text to view for representing the movie name. So now we have to add a text to view. So add a text to view and I specify the width as 175 dp. Also specify also here I use the same height of the image view. Here the image view height is 75 dp. I use the same height for this text view. Okay. Now we have to align this text view at the right side of the image view. So here the text view is located at the right side of the image view. So we have to align this text view to the right side of the image view before that we have to create an ID for this text view using ID attribute plus ID. I name it as movie title. Okay. Now align this at the right side of the text view. So layout to right off plus ID. We have to specify this at the right side of movie poster. So for testing purpose here I am going to add a text into this text view using text attribute. This is movie name. Okay. Now look at the design. Now we have a text view that represents the movie name. So now we have to align the text view, the text on the text view at the center of the text view. Here you can see the title of the movie is located at the center of the text view. So we have to align the text on this text view at the center. So you can align the text at the center using Android gravity attribute. So Android gravity into center. Now we have the movie name at the center of the text view. Now we have to create another text view that will represent the movie rating. Also we have to align the second text view to the right side of the movie title and also we need to align the last text view at the right side of the parent. Okay. So here I am going to create the last text view. Specify the width as wrap content, height as also specify the same height for this text view, 75 dp. Also we need an ID for this text view. So using Android ID attribute plus ID. I name it as movie rating. Okay, now we have to align this movie rating text view to the right side of the movie title text view. So Android layout to right off plus ID movie title. Okay. Also, we need to align this text view at the right side of the parent and do it layout, align parent right into true. For testing this text view, here I am going to specify some text for this and do it text. This is rating. Okay, now go to the design. Now we have the movie rating. Also we need to align this text text at the center of the text view. So use the Android gravity attribute. So Android gravity into center. Okay, now we have the movie poster, the movie name and the movie rating. Also we have to add, we have to change the background color of the center layout into a black color. So we have to change the background color into black. So go to the relative layout 
and specify a black color as background so android background specify a black color okay now now we change the background color into black so the movie name and the movie ratings are not visible because the font are black so we have to change the font color into white so here I am going to change the font color into a white one so Android text color into white also we have to change the text color of the movie rating also into white okay now we have the first one row of one row on this list view that contain an image view and two text view also we have to add a horizontal line at on each row so now we have to add a horizontal line so for adding a line you can use a view attribute a view tag and specify the width as match parent and I specify the height as 2dp also specify a color for this line and draw it using Android background specify a white color okay now we have to close this tag okay now the line is not visible so we have to change yeah we have to align this line at the bottom of the image view so android layout below plus id here i am going to specify the line at the bottom of the image view so it is available it is below the movie poster okay now look at the design now we have a horizontal line okay now we complete the custom layout for displaying the list view so here we have one row of data that contain an image view movie name and rating also there is no need to fill the center layout we, we, have to, we have to reduce the parent height so here the parent the relative layout height is much parent I change that one into a 2 dp that's enough for displaying one row okay now we have all the view components we have image view we have movie name movie rating also we have a horizontal line in each row so now we finish all the needed resources and we finish all the graphical interface of our application now in this next episode we are going to start the coding of this application okay so go to the next episode thank you for watching see you in the next part